what's up guys and welcome to the video. So special thanks to Hoshek Motor Mercedes-Benz dealer. It's located in Brno in Czech Republic and also here is a AMG Performance Center. What's up guys? So welcome to this video. This is the key to new Mercedes AMG C43 formatic estate or a wagon. So yeah, this is the front of the car. So you can see all the lines and front bumper. So this is the front grille from the previous C63 AMG and now is the 43 and 63 has new Panamericana grille. So these are the black AMG 19 inch multi-spoke light alloy wheels and you can see this car is on Sport Max run flat tires. So I really like this design of these wheels. I think I like them more than the base rims. So special thanks to Performance Center Hoshek Motor in Brno, Czech Republic for letting me do this review. And you can see now the doors and the side profile of the car. Also the side skirts. So I really like this shape of this estate. I'm not uh, like a huge fan of estate, but I think uh, this one looks really great and I really like the uh, design. In the back you can see this diffuser and four exhaust tips. It really looks great from this angle. So in the front you can find on this particular car the multi-beam LED headlights. So these are the best headlights which you can get on the C-Class and also in general in Mercedes. So these lights can cut out the traffic which is going uh, your way and everything else is on high beam. It uses cameras for that and also a computer system. So this demo car has nice strip on the car and also black mirrors. This is like a little spoiler on the, on the trunk. And in general, it really looks like a really light, light sporty design. Not too much aggressive, but also not like a general design of the C-Class. Okay, so let's open the car. So I will show you the interior a little bit later. Now I'm going to start the car. So when I look in the configurator, European market had different configuration. So when I look on the UK configurator, this would be like a premium plus package, but uh, this car doesn't have a panoramic sliding sunroof. So this is different. So now I'm going to start the car in, in Sport Plus. This car has Burmester system, audio system, which is the best from Mercedes. Also has heated seats but doesn't have like a memory seats. So this would be like a middle option for this C43, not top option. So this car has a standard comfort seats, which are really comfortable, I can tell you that from the seating. Also red seat belts, which I really like, it's really nice touch. So the command system is 12.3 inches. This is the biggest command display which you can get. I'm 
just going to switch it to English language so you can see everything. And I'm going to show you now the infotainment, the middle display command and also the digi digital dashboard. So I turned the heated seats off because they are working really great and uh, were too hot. So yeah, I really like this new facelifted design. So you can choose from a lot of different settings. As you can see here, you can have a lot of information on this digital dashboard. So when I look at this as a whole package, I really like it because yeah, I grew up driving analog dashboard, but this is really nice design and you can have a lot of information and you can customize what do you want to see, not just like with analog display. So, and the graphics are really like next level. I really like uh, what they do with the graphics. So you can put like navigation on one side and other statistics on the other side and in the middle you can have like a reef counter. So that's really great. You can have G-Force, date, fuel consumption. And in a way, this is like uh, the cover of the display. The dash is like analog, but the display is like uh, into it. So it's not like in the new Mercedes where you have two displays uh, next to each other. So this is like a little bit old school style, but I like it. It's a really nice touch. So you can see also assistance and this tronic on the left side if you prefer that and if you are cruising on the motorway because this car has an automatic uh, pilot uh, which can keep lane and also keep distance in the car which is in front of you so with the left my left hand and this left part you can control the dashboard and with the right part you control the middle display of course you can see temperature and uh, in each tire And uh, on the trip settings you can see the range and the consumption and in the AMG settings you can see different temperatures of the powertrain, also the G-Force assist and the boost of the turbos. And with the right part you can control this bigger display uh, command system. So the system is very intuitive, I can tell you that it's not uh, difficult to operate. So this is a climate control. You can have a, like an overview where the air is flowing. You can set the temperature for each side of the car, for the driver and for the passenger. So it's dual, dual zone AC. You can leave it on auto. Then you have dynamic select. You can change your driving mode. The new is the slippery mode for the snowing or for the rain. And you have a total of five settings from slippery to individual, comfort, sport and sport, sport plus. You don't have a race mode because uh, race mode is only for C63 and C63S. So for 43 is no race mode, but I, th I think this is a logical way to do it and it's fine. So in each mode you can set also different stuff. So for example, like I'm doing now, you can see I'm changing the suspension in comfort to for example sport. So you have a, like a suspension button. So you can change from comfort to sport and sport plus. So slippery mode is great because uh, you have a reduced power in a powertrain. So you don't uh, like accidentally uh, push full throttle. So that's great. Also, you can see the AMG ride control. That was the suspension which I talked about. And then you can have also manual mode for transmission and you can turn the stabilization off. Also turn off display and this is auto start stop button. So now I'm going to show you uh, how does it look in different modes. 
So now I'm going to show you all the things in this um, big command system. So you can set also these modes in dynamic select and also you can see them changing in the digital dashboard. So that's quite convenient. If you're driving, you don't need to look on the right display. You can just uh, look on the dashboard. So that's very clever. And I really like the graphics on the display. It really looks like a, um, like a video game or something. Really, really advanced graphics. So in the individual mode, you can uh, adjust just about everything in the car. So from the drivetrain, from dynamic sport, moderate, transmission, from manual or automatic, then suspension you can adjust, comfort, sport or sport plus, and ESP you can put on sport or a normal setting. Then you can see the engine data on this display, I really like this. You can see how much kilowatts are you using and how much in Newton meters. Also, you can see the temperatures of the engine on the left and on the right. And you can control it with this right pad on the steering wheel, so you don't need to leave hands from the steering wheel. In this mode, you can see how much uh, accelerator and how much brake are you using or is using when you have, for example, cruise control. Also, you can see the angle, how much is uh, steering, turning. So yeah, this is really nice and it looks like a really advanced system. So now I'm going to show you other parts of the car. For example, the navigation. So you can see you can uh, scroll with this uh, like a touchpad in the middle of the car. You can zoom in and zoom out. So this car has also live traffic. So I know it from my A-Class, a really good system. It can uh, reroute your uh, driving route based on live uh, traffic from satellite, something similar to Waze, but this is uh, from the satellite, not from user uh, on the road. So you can set a lot of different settings in the navigation and uh, in the route guidance. So as you can see, you can avoid some options like, for example, you can avoid motorways if you don't want to pay if you're in a different country. Or you can avoid uh, like motor ferries, tunnels. So, yeah, really detailed settings. Okay, so now I want to show you something else. And that's connect a little bit. You can see you can use browser and Apple CarPlay Android Auto. So now I want to show you other settings of the vehicle, such as assistance. So as you can see on the display, you can set, for example, the traffic sign assist, camera park assist. So this car has a full parktronic system. So on the top, you can also see the Mercedes Me logo. So this app is uh, for this car and uh, you can see everything what you can do with this app in my video. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below. So now you can see the attention assist, so you can have sensitive standard, it basically monitors uh, how much uh, did you drive before like a stops and turning off the engine and if you're driving too long it can show you that you need a break, you can stop at the gas station or something like that. So in the light settings you have ambient lighting, which is not as advanced as in the CLS or a new A-Class, but as you can see, it's uh, really nice. You can adjust brightness to front and rear, 
and they have also different colors. You can also adjust surround lightings, uh, exterior old lights shut off, interior light shut off, how much uh, would uh, lights be turned on when you turn off and leave the car. In vehicle settings, you can see winter tire limit, acoustic lock, auto folding mirrors, automatic door lock. So when I go back to the top, you can see track pace. This is exclusively for AMG vehicles only. So I really like this uh, section because uh, yeah, it's really like for uh, racing. You can select uh, just about everything, a lot of different tracks. As I want to show you now some of the tracks which are there, like a Spa Frankfurt Champs, Hockenheim, Laguna Seca, Nürburgring, Nürburgring Nordschleife, and other tracks, not just these. So you can have a drag race, acceleration or quarter mile. So you can see here green lights and instruction what you need to do. So it's pretty simple. You can test braking. Also you have some uh, information. So it's really easy to understand. And if you go track driving, then you can compare your lap times from uh, before and how, you, how much did you improve. So acceleration is maximum to 300 km per hour or 150 miles per hour. Now I'm going to show you rear seats of the car and tell you my thoughts about it. And yeah guys, this is just uh, really nice in the back. I adjusted my seat, um, as I would say, as a driver. And I'm 186 centimeters, which is like six, uh, and, uh, six and two inches in American height. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of room here. If I lean forward, uh, no big deal. And this is like uh, shaped for your knees. So even taller person than me can sit here and I'm quite tall, uh, more than average. Not like a basketball player, but yeah. So uh, I think 195 can fit here normally. Uh, maybe even uh, 200 uh, centimeters, two meters. So yeah, this is spacious and uh, really nice. Uh, also the illumination, the, uh, the lights are also here. And um, yeah, I mean the ambience lighting. And uh, yeah, just uh, <laughs> really, really nice. These are the comfort seats. You can have a uh, performance seats also, but I think these are better for uh, uh, longer journeys. If you are a hardcore fan, then uh, uh, you should order the, with the integrated headrest. It looks much more sportier, but yeah, you can uh, you may lose a little bit comfort. I never drove in uh, neither of those seats, so I cannot confirm. Uh, but yeah, in general, these would be uh, more comfortable, I think. To which point? That's hard to tell because uh, yeah, everybody is different. Some person can hold. And more aggressive and more hardcore so uh, yeah that's individual uh, okay so also you have this uh, nice middle uh, part which you can uh, put something here oh this is nice it's like a carpet and uh, yeah this is uh, really really nice and if you see you can rest here your arm like an armrest Really, really nice interior. I'm quite surprised, but not that bigger than my A-Class. So I think mostly because of this part in A-Class, it's a little bit different and uh, you can uh, have less space for your knee. If you are tall like me, if you are not tall, then uh, it's fine. But yeah, it's uh, a little bit bigger, but not that much more bigger than I thought than uh, A-Class. But yeah, this is like an old interior, but with facelift, with this uh, new display, digital. And uh, yeah, this is also like uh, bigger than before. And in general, this is uh, also has a new steering wheel. And uh, yeah, it just looks woo, 
amazing. So guys, I'm in the back seat of this amazing car and a lot of a lot more headroom uh, than in CLS which I reviewed uh, just a few minutes ago and yeah much more because this is not like a coupe roofline but this is a wagon estate yeah. uh, I'm going to show you the boot space so now I want to show you the boot space so automatic doors and the C-Class Estate has 490 liters of space with rear seats up. The Audi A4 Avant has the same, while the BMW 3 Series Touring has uh, 5 liters more, but well, that's like nothing, 5 liters, that's the same, I would say. And then with rear seats uh, folded flat, the Mercedes offers 1510 liters of space. And uh, BMW has 10 liters less and Audi has 70 liters less with the rear seats folded flat. So this is the biggest space in this segment. And as you can see that the rear diffuser and this exhaust tips it just looks really, really nice. And we can close now the boot space. So it closes really fast and smooth. So guys, uh, I want to tell you that I'm really sorry that I forgot to shoot the engine space. That's why I'm going to replay this footage again and uh, I'm going to tell, tell you about the engine uh, and performance statistics. So this vehicle C43 AMG has a V6 bi-turbo engine 3.0 liter and it can uh, sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds. The Newton meter torque is 520 and in kilowatt the power output is 287 kilowatts. This car has AMG Speed Shift 9G and is electronically limited to 250 kilometers per hour. And also this car has formatic system which C63 nor C63S doesn't have and this is all-wheel drive formatic system which can distribute 31% on the front axle and 69% on the rear axle and you can ex uh, experience supreme sports car properties uh, with uh, um, everyday situation so that's really great about this car. So guys that would be all for this video. If you like this video, give this video a like. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe for future videos. I will make sure that I don't forget to shoot the engine space in the next videos, in the upcoming videos. And I want to tell you that um, I will do many more reviews like this. And uh, you can let me know which vehicle you want to see. And I will try to shoot it. But of course, it depends on the stock. Uh, at the dealer so yeah guys i'm really thankful for your support that you like my videos and uh, yeah uh, i'm really thankful for that so guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next video